Same goes for the American Red Cross. Trevor Riggin, the senior VP of Disaster Services, says they plan to have only 30 percent of their volunteers doing frontline work. The pandemic is going to make everything we do harder and more complex. Hotels instead of shelters will be the preference during the pandemic, Riggin says, with the Red Cross already putting more than 23,000 people into hotels in just the last two months. If they have to open shelters, as they did in Michigan, there will be cleaning protocols and no more buffet lines at mealtime. Medical personnel will do temperature checks, symptom screening, and staff separate isolated areas for anyone with fevers or COVID symptoms. We know uh, the, the fear of coming to a shelter in the, in the face of a hurricane could keep somebody from getting to safety. And please trust that the Red Cross is taking it every effort we can to keep you safe. Making sure those who need to flee danger are protected, even in a pandemic. I'm Josie Sturman for Spotlight on America. Both FEMA and the Red Cross say it's important for anyone in harm's way to listen to local officials. They say now is the time to check your evacuation and disaster plans and make sure that they still work given the coronavirus crisis and replenish any emergency supplies that may have been depleted during quarantine.